Welcome to a special edition of We Tell Their Stories here on location at the Marathon Village Cemetery. Today I will give you a tour of the locations of my ancestors that range from third great grandparents to five times great grandparents. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. The first stop is at my great-great-grandparents through my father, his mother, her mother, and her parents, Edwin and Ella Carter. This is a section of the cemetery where a lot of the stones look the same. So these ones are always a little hard to find. But we you know what this stone looks like. Looks vaguely like one of those. And I believe it faces in the opposite direction that I'm walking. And there they are. Edwin Carter and Ella Beach are my two times great-grandparents. They were married in 1879. Edwin was a local merchant. Here are Ella's parents, Robert E. and Elizabeth. Now Elizabeth died about 30 years before Robert did, and uh, he was married two more times, but most of his children were with Elizabeth. He had seven of them, and Ella was one of those kids. Following the Carter line, here are Edwin's parents, Charles and Abigail. There's a large headstone here and there's footstones with their first names on them right there. Uh, they are my third time, three times great grandparents. And then right over here, my four times great-grandparents, Ezra and Dimis or Dimas Carter. Um, they were the first ones to come over to Marathon. Following the Rowe family line, I find my great-great-grandfather, Charles Nelson Rowe. Charles got gold fever, went out west to search for fame and fortune, and he was married out there, um, had a daughter, they died in Utah, and eventually he came home and back to Marathon to live with his family. He's buried here in the Brink family plot, uh, which is his mother's family plot, along with his father, Oakley J. Rowe. Now, Oakley died pretty young, and Caroline Elizabeth Brink, um, his wife, was remarried to a man named Burgess Squires um, and is buried right over in that direction, but her first husband and son are here in her family plot. Brink is a big name here in Marathon. There's a street named after the Brinks, and the original tavern in town was founded by Chester and Amy Brink, my four times great-grandparents, who were some of the earliest settlers here in Marathon. My five times great-grandparents are Abram and Ruth Brink. Ruth's maiden name is Lyons. Abram was born in 1770, and Ruth was born in 1776. They're originally from the Binghamton area, and there's stories of them coming along the Tyofnioga River, and are, they are considered to be the second official settlers of the Marathon area. Thanks for joining me for this special episode of We Tell Their Stories on location at the Marathon Virgil Cemetery. Do you know where your ancestors are buried? I encourage you to look it up, go find them, check on their graves. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.